You are passionate about the Royal Navy. Passionate? No, not really. I like ships, that is all. Are you quite sure? You do not seem to be so interested in plants. It's difficult, that's all. My future is here. It has never been about anything else. Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge Sherlock Holmes. Sag doch mal, ey. I perceive that you are passionate about the Royal Navy. Passionate? Are you quite... It's difficult, that's all. My future is here. It has never been about anything else. And yet, I know that the Royal Naval College rejected your application. Ah, oh, you truly are as clever as they say. Yes, that's correct. And in fact, my father was strongly against the idea. He did his best to ruin my plans, although I almost did succeed. But my dreams were shattered, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Ja, wenn der Vater so ein Arsch sein kann. So, Mr. Von und zu. Chemikalien, Pflanzenvernichter, was auch immer. Mr. Hamish, can you explain to us what happened to the colonial collection? It seems somewhat depleted. But, uh, oh, most likely maintenance work, tidying up. You're not sure then? But you're the deputy director. Well, I am busy. I cannot be everywhere at once. As Deputy Director, how was your relationship with Montague done? To be honest with you, Mr. Holmes, it could have been better. You see, every Tuesday he would carry out his inspection of the gardens, but it was solely to make an impression, great pretense that he cared at all. He would give out absurd orders, ignoring anyone else's opinion. He would then disappear for the rest of the week. He was what some might call a man of action. I'd say rather he was overzealous and chaotic. So after all, it was no wonder perhaps that he ended up like that. If you take into consideration his kind of lifestyle. You mentioned that Mr. Dunn led a particular lifestyle. Well, it's no secret that he enjoyed uh, celebrating, shall we say? He was a member of the London Smart Set. He was famous for it. That and... And? He had an eye for the ladies, to put it mildly, Mr. Holmes. What is your opinion of Albert as a student of botany? He's useless. I often tell him so, and I can only give him cleaning tasks. Botany is not his life's work, and his father well knew it. He was furious about it. He was? Oh, yes. He forced his son to work here. And he never missed an opportunity to criticize him publicly. Are you able to elaborate on that? Well, for example, with our last exhibition here, Mr. Dunn had Albert make a presentation speech. But then, while the lad was speaking, Mr. Dunn interrupted him, asking him difficult questions, making him look like a failure. It was with the intention of making a fool of him, Mr. Holmes. That must have been terribly humiliating. Yes, he was crushed, and he had to leave. Everybody was making fun of poor Albert. That is, except for Miss Margaret White, who is such a nice lady and who always takes pity on Albert. You mentioned a Miss White. Would you tell us more about her? She is a student who works here part-time. She is quite charming indeed. She possesses a great talent for botany. You should take a look at some of her experiments that she carried out in the laboratory. Ah, if only she were not so naive. Why naive? The way she used to flutter around Mr. Montague Dunn. And he, why, he couldn't help but be flattered by all her attention. How could an intelligent woman such as Miss White not see through his game? I can only scratch my head and wonder. Now tell me, Mr. Hamish, do you grow the more deadly variety of plant here? You mean insectivorous? Yes, but nothing larger than that. Mr. Hamish, was someone from your family connected with Kew Gardens? Family? No. I'm the only one with a passion for botany. Ooh. 
I do okay. not think so. This photograph of you and your father at Kew Gardens suggests the opposite. <sighs> but you have no right to. Do tell us more about your father. He was, indeed, the greatest botanist of his time in the British Empire. He worked together with Montague Dunn until the end of his life. He brought me in at the age of 12. Did he get on well with Mr. Dunn? No, I couldn't say that. They expanded Kew Gardens together, that was all. And it was all my father's work, for Dunn always lived the high life. So Mr. Dunn was not helping your father? Oh yes, he provided the financial support. And as far as he was concerned, that fulfilled his role. But the worst of it was, he declared himself as the master of Kew Gardens. Fame meant nothing to my father. So it was easy for Mr. Dunn to take all the credit. There is a bust of Montague Dunn in the nursery. A bust? Oh, that old thing. Further proof of that outrageous ego of his. But why in that room, in particular? Oh, I, I don't know. It has always been there. Eh, hey, scheiße. Oh! It is strange, because I recovered a fragment of the bust inside the colonial collection room. Really? Oh, well, so I am mistaken. It ought to have been removed during the cleanup. This room is so small. Hmm. Do you know who moved it? I have no idea. Surely Mr. Dunn requested it. Do you have any more questions like this? Because fragments of rock are not my responsibility. Evidently. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. None of the three people who work at Kew Gardens know why half of the colonial collection was cleared. So, someone is lying. It is obvious. Mm. Ich muss Tobi holen, genau. Wo viel ein, wo viel ein. Sehr interessant. Also, nur no, so ein Fall. Ich hätte schon am Anfang aufgegeben. Nein, du kleines Hundeschwein. Ich brauch deinen Rüssel. Such mal fein. Come on, Toby. We have some work for you to do. Let us go to Kew Gardens.
Ist bald noch fertig mit Laden. Weil in der Zeit hätte ich eh noch rochen können. Hat ja auch mal Zeit. Let us take Toby to the laboratory. He will pick up the scent of this mysterious substance. Search, Toby. Search. Toby Lane, du kleines Hundeschwein. La 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 la. Okay. Wo führt der uns hin? Oh. Okay. Congratulations, Toby. Now let us see what you have found. This is the bottle that was used in the laboratory. It was buried here. There is still some liquid remaining in the bottle with gold flakes, a tiny caterpillar. Not surprising to see one in a garden, but at the bottom of a bottle. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. Ja. Okay, Penner, du bist dran schuld. Gib's zu. Just be careful with the plants during your inspection. Äh. Jetzt dürfen wir erstmal wieder jede einzelne Person befragen, bis dann irgendwann die vierte Person auftaucht. Hugh Gardens is such an exciting place. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, ey. Das war's dann mit der. Bei dem anderen wird auch nichts rauskommen. Scheiße, wie geht's voran? Weiter. Excuse me, but I have to tidy up this room. Mann, Watson, verpiss dich doch mal. noch die Gebäude durchsuchen. Also irgendwo ist noch was. Locked. Oh. Als erstes den Safe knacken. So, was sich im Safe befindet, erfahren wir in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann bleibt entspannt, genießt den Tag und bye bye.